Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and I am in the backyard with Brooklyn and the new LM2167 SP. We did a really short review on this. We didn't have any grass to cut. We'll put the link in the description, but did you know they're starting to make accessories? And this is actually an Ego mobile phone holder. Now, this actually comes with the LM2167 SP, and I honestly did not know that. So I'm going to show you this, but this also works with other mowers. And another thing I'm uncovering is some of the snow blowers actually have accessory hookups. So I'm wondering, will this fit? Will other accessories be coming out for the snow blowers as well? Well, why don't we go ahead and get this party started? Let's go ahead just to uh, unbox this real quick and see what's included. We'll take a close look at it and then we'll look at the connection mechanisms. Okay, so let me pull this out. All right, and uh, yeah, it probably comes with a small booklet, right, to tell you how it should connect and all that good stuff. But let's take a peek at it. So this is, uh, this is it. You've got Ego zippers. It looks like it's uh, got a newer type zipper, I guess, for us. Uh, I don't know about a weather rating. I guess we'll look that up real quick. But uh, here's the connection mechanism. All right. And this basically connects uh, to the bottom of the handle. And then you, I guess you see the, mo the uh, logo. I guess you would want to have your zippers maybe facing up towards the front. You know, so when you need to put something in here. Again, they call it a mobile phone holder, but let's open it up all the way. We'll take a look inside to see that it has uh, a pouch over here, some type of uh, area to put something there. Maybe that's where the phone gets held so it doesn't bounce around too much. Um, the material in here is soft. It's, uh, it's a soft material that's in here. All right, pretty simple. little carbon design. Again, you've got another pouch here as well. So I'm thinking, okay, so this goes this way. You've got room to put something else here. And uh, why don't we go ahead and let's take a look at some of the mowers that we've got here. So this is the new guy, all right? And I took the other models we have. Yes, we've got a couple of Ego mowers. <laughs> so this is the um, 2135 SP. And uh, I noticed if I look at the handle spot, I don't know if it's going to fit. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it'll fit here because I think you have to have more of the holes I'm going to show you in some of the newer models. Now, if you remember, we got obviously the 2150, which is, you know, also the 2156 SP. So this is the 2150 or SP or the 2156 SP. And again, this one doesn't seem to have the holes. But check this out. Remember that mower we reviewed? This is the LM2114 SP, right? We did a short review on this one, and this has got the holes. So if you could see here, these are actually accessory holes, all right? So if we take, and, and let's just take this real quick and show you. Um, so if you look at, you've got the wide clips here and the, and the, the lower clips here. So they will match, obviously, the wider clips here and the lower clips here. So they just, just snaps in and you pull it up. You can see the lock sections here. Let's put this on the 2167 SP and see what it looks like. So I'm going to take the handle. I'm going to put it back here and I'm going to drop it down. Give me one second. All right, so I'm back. So I'm going to drop the handle and I love this little simple latch now, right? So, you know, in this angle, I can lock it and kind of show you, which is cool. So let's take this case, put it on for a moment. And uh, so again, all we're going to do here is take these two pins, put them in here. These two, put them in here. So let's do that. All right. And uh, see if I can get this locked into place. All right, I'll fumble on camera with you guys because I, I do want to do it right. And it looks like um, once you get it in, 
you're going to push down. There it goes. So it's locked in place. And here is what it looks like, right? So, and if you're rocking and rolling, let me pull the handle up. Extend the handle real quick. Okay. All right. All right, my screen is on. I'm rocking and rolling, and guess what? I can now put a phone in here. I can put something in here. And yet I still have this little fabric to hold something else. So that is a little look here at the phone holder. Pretty simple. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you the snow blowers. Let's take a look at the ones we have and see if uh, they've got some holes for accessories. So guys, before we go out and check the snow blowers to see if this works on theirs, I'll tell you, it does list the 2130, the 2150, the 2110 model, okay? Um, yeah, 2110 FC, 2120, 2160, obviously, you know, that's what we're using now. Um, I don't see 2114 on here. I, I don't know how they're doing that. But um, the weird part is it, the 2130 and the 2135, right, are the, practically the same mower. You know, one obviously has the batteries and the charger, right? Uh, 2150, again, batteries, charger, maybe additional blade. We've got those here, but it's weird. They don't have the holes, right? You know, so uh, how else does this connect, I guess, is the dilemma. So this is the 2135, right? And you see here, it doesn't have the holes. So, you know, if I go and try to get this to stay on the 2130, well, there's nowhere for it to stay. So that's pretty interesting. You know, I mean, even these two are not really holes for the accessory. So that's a 2135. Here's a 2150 we showed you a moment ago, right? And again, same situation. We don't have the holes for the 2156 slash 2150 right unless they're going to go ahead and update the models as they ship them out but this won't fit and then we did show you that the 2114 um, has the holes and i guess the 2125 will as well because you know there's a 2125 coming out that has uh, i believe 7.5 amp hour battery so just wanted to show you that let's go ahead and try these on the snow blowers right brooklyn so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, two-stage, right? And see if there are any uh, accessory holes down here on the bottom. And uh, looking at this, I don't really know. I, I see three holes here, but I guess no. Nothing here on this one. Now let's look at the new um, single-stage auger propelled. This is, uh, we did a review on this just recently. You know, again, more of an unboxing. We didn't get to do the snow test on this yet. We did a close look and a nice comparison, by the way. That is what the video looks like if you want to check it out, okay? We'll put a link in the description. But let's take a look. This is the uh, one with the heated handles. And let's go down here and take a look and see. And boom, there it goes. So you've actually got the four accessory holes for that mechanism there. Interesting. So let's take this and uh, put it on, all right? And uh, I might fumble a little bit, guys, but uh, put it in the holes, put it in the holes, and uh, I didn't push it down all the way, just so you all know. I didn't lock it in place because I'm holding the camera. But that's not bad. Listen, if you want, I mean, I don't know if it's like five below, if that's going to help, but, you know, you can put your keys in there, <laughs> you know, you can put anything you want. So look at that. You now have an option to put it on the auger propelled as well. By the way, I did check the single stage first gen. I have the SNT 2102. All right, so it doesn't have any accessory holes. So that would apply to the 2100, the 2101, the 2102, and the 2103. All right, just letting you know, just in case you have one of those snowblowers. By the way, this is uh, 3995, uh, model number APH1000. All right, when these become available, we'll go ahead and share that with you guys. But uh, yeah, let's check this out.
So let's go ahead and see if I can put an iPhone 14 Pro in there. This is not a Pro Max, it's a Pro. But uh, let's just open this up, drop it in, close it, no problem. And I'm wondering if it'll also fit in the bottom here, you know. So let's just slide it in the bottom uh, where that elastic is. All right, so I'll close this. And, uh, you know, can I get it in there? Yeah, I mean, it holds it mostly. It's, it does stick out. It, it gets a little tight with that mesh, but that works also. So, guys, I really, really hope you thought our review, quick, really, introduction was uh, helpful in some way. And if it was, definitely give Brooklyn and I a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. It helps our video. And uh, we paid for that, obviously. So, you know, we always try to do that as much as we possibly can. Um, if you're new to the channel, take a moment and subscribe. We would love to have you as a new family member on the channel. Share our video as well in your chat rooms with your friends and your family. And also, you can follow us on social media up here, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All right, guys? Well, Brooklyn and I definitely appreciate you. You have a happy new year. Thank you so much. Right, Brooklyn? Yeah. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.